Ishikawa Gomen was something of a legendary figure in Japanese history. One of his most notable exploits was the stealing of gold from rich nobles which he would then distribute to the poor. In a sense, you could say that he was the Japanese Robin Hood. He was born sometime around 1550. In another version, Gomen would again be caught entering Hideyoshi's room, only this time by a supposedly magical incense burner who would alert the guards to the presence of intruders. In typical Hideyoshi fashion, he had Gomen's entire family burned alive with him. In the final version, Gomen would try to save his son from the heat of the cauldron by holding him high above his head as he did in the first instance, however he would then suddenly plunge him deep into the bottom of the cauldron, killing him instantly so as to save him from the pain. He would then hold the body of the boy high above his head in defiance of the Hideyoshi regime until he eventually sunk to the bottom of the pot himself. When facing Hideyoshi during his death, he was apparently said to have confessed that he indeed was a thief and that he had stolen a fortune however he would also accuse Hideyoshi of being a thief himself for in Goman's words, Hideyoshi had stolen Japan. Before he died, Goman penned a famous poem that states, Regardless of how the world turns out, there will always be thieves. A tombstone is dedicated to him in the Dayunin Temple in Kyoto. In fact, large iron bathtubs in Japan are now called Goman Bureau, meaning Goman Bath. The question is, was Ishikawa Goman a regular moral hero who was aiding the poor, or was he a bit of a scoundrel, using the poor to maintain his facade as a merchant and to facilitate his getaways?